here are five ways that we look at uh, that are key to being successful within the, the CJR model. Uh, data analysis, assemble your CJR team, assess your current situation, establish those provider and consultant partnerships, and then uh, establish, release a request for proposal. If you don't have your data, contact CMS, get access to your data, pull it out. Next thing is you really should contract with an organization which can analyze, understand, and actually provide recommendations on the CMS claims data as it relates to the bundled payments. And the best organizations really to work with are organizations that have worked in bundled payments. Uh, we have seen a lot of data analysis that has been presented to hospitals and to physician groups that is virtually worthless because the organization providing the data does not truly understand what they're, actually, what they're providing to the uh, provider. Uh, assemble your CJR team. You know, this is going to be comprehensive. You're going to need the correct leaders. You need physician engagement. You have to develop a care team. We recommend that care team include RNs, uh, orthopedic service line managers, uh, social workers, includes orthopedic surgeons, includes all of those individuals that are impacting and touching the care of that patient. And finally, we recommend strongly that you should have a bundle payment coordinator, someone who is going to uh, lead you through this entire process and have ownership of the CGR model within your hospital. That person is going to be the one who is touching all points of, of care, touching all, all uh, individuals involved, and be, is going to be the one that's going to really drive your success. Next, uh, you know, three, you know, point three is assess your situation. We're strong believers in physician alignment and engagement drives more success. So what is the history and relationships within your setting? How many of the physicians are employed versus independent? What's the makeup of the independent groups? What's the history that you've had with those groups or those orthopedic surgeons for their service line and their co-management arrangements? Is there any, is there, have you had one? You know, you want to look at what is the situation that you have with your physicians? Uh, the other things on here, acute opportunities, care redesign, self-explanatory. Last thing I want to touch on is your strategic focus. You know, we're move, you're moving from a, a volume-based system to a value-based system. So you're going to feel like you have, you know, feet in, in, you know, one foot in each boat. And so it's going to feel unsteady. And so really to understand how is your organization strategically looking at the shift and that transition from a volume-based system to a value-based system because they are very different types of systems. The way those payments work are obviously different, but the types of processes and systems you set up to manage the care of the patient is actually going to be different, right? We've seen a lot of changes with the organizations and groups we work with uh, that are now changing the way they, they do patient care, changing their preoperative part, changing the acute, uh, some of the acute orders, and changing a lot of the post-acute care uh, pathways in order to uh, get the, the, the best outcomes for those patients and, and avoid any adverse outcomes. So really understanding, thoroughly understanding what is your strategic focus from that move from a volume to value? How fast are you doing it? What resources have you put in? And who's, who's really leading that charge? Uh, fourth, develop partnerships. We would highly recommend uh, creating physician alignment through gain shares or risk sharing arrangements with the physicians uh, that are part of, of your, uh, your CJR market. You need to get out there and have some face-to-face -face with those preferred, uh, those post-acute care providers so you can develop your preferred network. Uh, and then finally, you know, consultants, you know, you're going to, this is a fairly comprehensive program, so you are likely going to need new skill sets and new resources that you presently don't have. And you're going to need to find consultants or organizations that are going to be long-term partners uh, to help you with things like the care, the, like the data analytics, uh, care navigation solutions, care management solutions. Uh, how do you do your care redesign? How do you set up your gain share? How do you manage your gain share? How do you develop your post-acute care network and your community resources? And then how do you continue to manage those through the next five years uh, of, of the CJR model? And then finally, we strongly recommend you release an, uh, an RFP. And, and one that, that, that asks for multiple consultants or vendors, whether they're technology or whether they're a partner that's going to help with network development or a more comprehensive partner, 
um, ask for them to uh, to give you know, send out an RFP and, and get in do your due diligence get in multiple uh, resources multiple vendors and, and look at those you know uh, it, it this move from volume to value it does require a new set of skills and capabilities you are most likely going to be looking for resources outside of your organization our experience shows that this is a very difficult work and it's a, it's, a, it's an uphill battle but it is one in which if you put all the right pieces in place and find the right partnerships you can be very successful and we measure success by better outcomes of patients better patient satisfaction and, and a program that financially sustains itself.